All right, so here we're talking about setting up and solving equations. Now, the solving equations part is hopefully something we're already comfortable with, but it's the setting up and then solving that we're going to look at specifically. So, as always, I think it's best if I talk this through with a couple of examples. Uh, and to start with, we're going to look at one that's dealing with angles. So we're going to start with a straight line like this. I'm going to tell you that this angle is 4x plus 20. So I'm not going to give you a number of degrees. I'm giving you an algebraic expression. And this side is going to be 5x plus 25. And our job, first of all, is to find out what x is so we can answer the question, which might be uh, how large are each of the angles? Are each of the angles? Now, what do we know about angles on a straight line? Well, we know that they add up to 180. So if I take those two angles, if I take this one, 5x plus 25, and if I add to it, 4x plus 20, so if I add those two angles together, my answer is going to be 180. It doesn't matter that they are algebraic expressions at the moment. But the fact is those two angles added together make 180. Uh, and now we can simplify this down a bit because we've, we've got 5x here and 4x here. So if I add those together, that's 9x. Uh, I've then got 25 and 20. If I add those together, I get 45. So 9x plus 45 equals 180. And now we have an equation that we can solve. So if I just write that up again, write that out again up here, uh, 9x plus 45 equals 180. Well, we'll start by uh, taking 45 away from both sides. And that's going to give us 9x on the left equals 135 on the right. Next, we're going to need to divide by 9 to get the x by itself, leaving us with x equals uh, 15. But that last step might be calculator. Uh, and now we, know what, uh, now we know what x is. We can work out the size of each of those angles. So let's just work out this one and then we'll leave it there. If x is 15, then 4x plus 20 is going to be uh, 4 times 15 plus 20. 4 times 15 is 60 plus 20. So that angle is going to be 80 degrees. And because they have to add up to 180, that makes the other one 100 degrees. So that first step here, where we went from having our picture with the two expressions in it, so working out what that looks like as an equation, that's the setting up part. And once you've done that, you're just solving the equation that you've made up. Uh, so let's do another example. Uh, I've got a rectangle here where the height is going to be 3x and the width is going to be 2x plus 10. I'm going to tell you that the perimeter equals 70 centimetres. And this question is asking for the area. All right, so what do we know about the perimeter of a rectangle? Well, we know that if we add those sides together, 3x on the left plus the 3x it didn't explicitly tell us on the, on, on the other side, and then the 2x plus 10 because it's a rectangle which has to be across the top. If we add all those four sides together, that gives us the perimeter, which we know is 70. So let's add all those sides together. We've got 3x plus 2x plus 10 plus the other 3x plus the other 2x plus 10. And we know that all of that comes to 70. So if we simplify this all down, we've got a, a 3x and a 3x and a 2x and a 2x. So altogether, that's 5, that's 10x. Uh, we've then got a 10 here and a 10 there. So 10x plus 20 equals 70. Uh, we then solve the equation by taking 20 away from both sides to begin with, leaving us with 10x equals 50. And finally, by dividing by 10 to get x equals 5. Uh, now we know what x is. We can go back to the original question and answer this. Like We can find what the area is because we know x is 5 now. So 3 lots of x. 3x is 15. Uh, 2x is 10, so 2x plus 10 is 20. And if the, the width is 20 and the height is 15, then the area is 20 times 15, which is 300 centimetres squared. So a lot of that might have felt like a bit of a rush, um, but just take the information it's given you and work out what you can. You know, In our first example, we had a straight line, and we know that angles on a straight line equal 180. 
So if we take those two expressions, add them together, then we that, that's where we got to at this point. Well, then we have an equation which we know equals 180, which we can simplify and solve. Same with this perimeter question. We know that the perimeter is what you get when you add all the sides together. So we just added all the sides together. And the fact that they were algebra makes it harder, but you're just doing the same thing. So I have a couple of examples here that I've copied straight out of past exams. Um, they're a little small, I couldn't get them much bigger, but you can pause the video here if you'd like to have a go at those, or you can just leave it playing as I talk through. So pause here if you want to have a go, and I'm going to talk through. So we've been given in this first question uh, four angles inside a quadrilateral, so four-sided shape. Uh, all the angles are in terms of x, and we're just told to work out the value of x. Well, what do I know about the angles in a quadrilateral? There are, there are four angles, and we know that the angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360. So if I take all those angles, we've got 5x plus 4x plus 6x plus 3x. If I add all the angles together in a quadrilateral, oops, nearly wrote 180, it equals 360. Now, if I've got 5x plus 4x plus 6x plus 3x, I've actually got 9, 15, 16, 17, 18x. So 18x equals 360. So to get what 1x is, I just divide both sides by 18 uh, to get x equals 20. So x is 20. Uh, this one on the right hand side is a little more complicated. We need the length of one side of the square. Now we've been given two different sides of the square, and what do you know about the squares? Their sides are the same length. So that means that this first length across the top, 7x minus 3, equals the other length, which is 3 lots of x plus 1. So those are equal to each other, and now I have an equation that I can solve. Now the first thing I'm going to need to do with this equation is uh, expand these brackets to give me 3x plus 3. Uh, and the left-hand side hasn't changed. Uh, and what I do next is get all the x's in the same place. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to take 3x away from this side, which means I have to take 3x away from the other side as well, leaving me with 4x minus 3 equals just 3. Uh, I'm then going to plus 3 to both sides to cancel out the 3 on the left-hand side, leaving me with 4x equals 6. Uh, and if 4x equals 6, then I'm going to overlap the question a bit, but I divide both sides by 4 to give me x equals 1.5. And if I know what x is, then I can substitute it into either of these expressions to work out how long each side of the square would be. Because it's a square, all the sides are the same, so I only need to substitute it into one of these two. I'll give it the same answer either way. Uh, let's do this one, because this looks a little easier. If x is 1.5, then x plus 1, so this bit inside the brackets, is going to be 2.5. And 3 times 2.5, I'm going to add up 3 2.5s. Uh, 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15. Carry the 1. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the size of the square are 7.5 centimetres. So that's setting up and solving equations. Your first step is to identify what they're trying to get out of you. You know, in our first example with the angles, they were trying to they were they were trying to get you to remember that the angles on a straight line equal 180. So if you add those two parts together, it has to be equal to 180. In the second one, it was that perimeter is what you get when you add all the sides together. So we just added all the sides together, ignoring the fact that they were algebra. You still just add the sides together. And then in the, in the first exam question, it was the fact that the angles on a quadrilateral add up to 360, even if they're in algebra. And in the bottom right example, the second exam question, it was the sides of the square are the same. So we took the two sides and said, well, those are equal to each other. So this equals that. That's setting up and solving equations. Hope that helped. Uh, thanks very much.